In PowerShape 2015 R2, we can now edit multiple primitives and multiple wireframe simultaneously. I'm going to demonstrate this by using this scanned triangle mesh. And what I want to do is extract the solid cylinders from my part here. I'm going to do this by using the mesh segment tool. But first of all, I want to optimize its parameters. And I can do this by going into Tools, Options, I'm going to go to Object and Mesh. And you can see here we've got the options for the Mesh Segmentation tool. Now, I want to look for solids, so I can choose it from the drop down. I've got an alignment angle of 3, which means it's going to snap any primitives that are within three degrees of a work plane to that work plane. I'm also going to input an extension distance of three millimeters. So that's just going to extend either our surface or our solid three millimeters past the triangle mesh that it's fitting to. You can also choose the fit method. We've got inside, middle or outside. I'm just going to stick with middle for this demonstration. And I can say OK. So once I've set up all of my parameters, I can select my mesh and I'm going to go straight into the manual mesh segmentation mode. Here you can see we're looking for solids, but I can toggle to surfaces if I want to. And I'm going to choose cylinders from my drop down list. Now I'm just going to go in here, select some triangles, I can right click to preview. You can see we've got 3mm extension distance, which I just set in the tools options, and we get told a fit of 0.02. I can right click to accept this, or I could have ticked that green tick there. And I'm just going to quickly move around my part, selecting some triangles, viewing the fit, and then accepting by right clicking. And then finally we've got this last one here. I'm going to select it. Here you can see we've got far too many blue triangles selected. So I'm just going to turn down the similarity angle like so. And I can also shift select some more triangles just so I have enough. And I get told the fit and I can accept that. Once I've got all of the primitives I'm after, I can close the mesh segment tool. And you can see that I've got my primitives created. I can hide my mesh just to show you that they're all different. Now really what I want to do is align them all to the same plane. So I'm going to show my mesh back again. With my mesh selected, I'm going to create a work plane and I'm going to drop it at the bottom of my selection. And you can see it appears there like so. So now what I want to do is position all of my cylinders on that work plane and make sure they protrude up completely through my mesh. I'm going to select my mesh and blanket and Previously, we'd have to do this individually, but now I can box select all of my primitives, right click and say modify. You can see we get a little work plane at the bottom of each one. And here, we've got radius and diameter. We've got this dusky red color, which is a warning, which is telling us we've got different parameters there. So. The value that is shown is always the smallest in the range. So here, if I hover over it, we've got a range of roughly 12.8 to 14.2 and lengths range from 9.3 to 32.46. So I'm going to change all of the diameters so they're the same. We're going to change them to the all 13 millimeters. And once I click away, they will all get changed. What I can also do is change where they're positioned in the workspace. So I have a zero now where my new work plane is at the bottom of my mesh and all of my cylinders are floating somewhere above that. 
and again we've got this warning to show that they're all different and we've got the range between 16 and 39. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to set them all to sit on the zero. When I click away you can see they all drop down like so. And finally what I want to do is adjust the length. I'm going to set the length to be 55 millimeters, as I know that's going to protrude all the way through my mesh. So if I show my mesh now and just view from the side, you'll see that my solid cylinders are going straight up, they're all the same length, they're all the same diameter and I change them all in one or two clicks. As well as using the multiple edit functionality on primitive solids and surfaces, we can also use it on wireframe. For example, this selection of arcs here, if I right click and say modify, you'll see that they've all got different radii, they've all got different circle centers. It's going to tell me the range of the diameters is from 8 to 20 and I can set them all to have a radius of 15. Again, we can do exactly the same with lines. If I multiple select them, right click and modify, you get told the length of each of these lines and its direction, showed by a yellow arrow, and I can change all their lengths so they are 20 millimeters if I wish.